everyone welcome back to my channel create a life you love i hope you all are well um i'm posting a video after a long time uh today's video is about uh how to organize your medicine cupboard uh how to categorize them and how you can uh store them uh why it is important to keep your medicines properly uh labeled and organized uh, and I'll give you some tips on how you can uh, do it. So stay tuned and we'll jump straight into it. So this is how I used to store my medicines until now. Uh, I just needed that cabinet for something else. And so I changed my... Uh, medicine cabinet to some other organizing system so today you can see two organizing systems one is these boxes and then uh, next one is coming up you might have got medicines kept in different corners in the house some might be in your work bag some might be in different pouches or uh, in your travel bags so just keep all the medicines together on the table and then go through them and put them into different categories. Once you have collected all the medicines from everywhere in your home, um, try and sort them out. Check the expiry date on each. Uh, it's really important to dispose them off safely, the ones which are expired. Don't throw them in your bins. Take them to the pharmacy and they will have a way of disposing it off. So once you have checked all the expiry dates on your medicines, you can put them in different categories. Now for uh, all of you, it will be different how you categorize them. I usually put the painkillers together, the antacids together, then uh, the wound dressing material, band-aids uh, and uh, the blister packs together. And um, flu tablets and medicines which you need uh, when you have flu i put them all together um if you have kids you can make a separate uh, storage space for children's uh, medicines and uh, it's much easier to find them if you keep it that way Once you've decided what categories you're going to have, uh, make labels. Uh, if you have a label maker, make labels or you can just use the uh, black la labels on which you can write with chalk. Um, I've got a label maker so I have uh, printed out labels for different categories and it's really important to put the lab once you've checked the medicines, put the right labels on the right ones. and. Uh, it really makes your life easy because you, when you're looking for something, uh, you will find it immediately if it's labeled, if it's categorized. It's a good system.
once you've categorized your medicines and labeled them, find a suitable place to store them. You want to keep them out of reach of your children. Uh, you don't want them to help themselves <laughs> to these medicines, um, especially little kids. So either keep them locked away if uh, they are kept at the lower level, but otherwise ideal will be to keep them in the uh, cabinets which are uh, out of their reach. Once you've decided where you're going to store your medicines, according to that uh, space, you can uh, um, get some storage containers. Um, if you don't want to buy new containers, you don't need to buy new containers, actually. You can use the takeaway boxes. You can use Ziploc bags and label the individual bag for each category and keep them in very small space. It's very easy. Uh, if you don't have a very big space, you can uh, literally keep them uh, individual uh, category into Ziploc bags and uh, put them all in one tub uh, and tuck it away in a corner. Um, there are a lot of storage solutions. I have used these multicolored drawers and categorized them accordingly because I had this lying around in the garage for a while and I was trying to find some use for it. I don't have small kids anymore uh, who are in the house, so uh, I can safely keep them wherever I want uh, in these drawers. But I used to keep them in the boxes, uh, as you must have seen earlier on the, in the video. Uh, I had all these uh, small tubs which I had kept in the boxes and labeled. Uh, and it was difficult to keep taking them out, so I changed my system recently. So you can use whatever system works for you. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, uh, share, like, comment below. If you have any more ideas, please share them uh, in the comment section. I would really like to know. And uh, I will see you next time in another organizing video. Bye now.